If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. The Sales Tax page in QuickBooks Online Plus contains the Sales Tax Center, which lets you run sales tax reports and view sales tax information. To open the Sales Tax page, hover over the Taxes link in the navigation bar and then click the Sales Tax link in the side menu that appears to open the Sales Tax page to the right. If you are using the Auto Sales Tax feature in QuickBooks, then in the Sales Tax page you can see the current sales tax due for the selected dates for the taxing agencies. To show sales tax information for a time interval, select a month and year combination from both the From and To dropdowns. Then click the Refresh button to refresh the sales tax information. The sales tax due and upcoming taxes appear in the due and upcoming sections. Previous payments appear in a paid section. You may even see an overdue section appear if you don't pay your sales tax on time. You can click the view return button for any time period shown in the due or overdue sections to show the related return with instructions on how to pay the sales tax in a new return window that opens. To view the sales tax liability report for that period, Click the View Tax Liability Report link in this page. This report shows the total amount of sales tax collected for the period selected. Alternatively, to generate this report, click the Reports drop-down in the upper right corner of the Sales Tax page and then select the Tax Liability Report link in the drop-down menu. However, note that running the report this way shows year-to-date data by default instead of data for a selected period. You can easily change the date range of the report as needed in either place to show the data for the desired periods by either using the Report Period drop-down or by entering dates into the adjacent Calendar Selector fields. Back in the Sales Tax page, to run a report that lists all your taxable customers, click the Reports drop-down in the upper right corner of the Sales Tax page, and then select the Taxable Customer Report link in the drop-down menu. Additionally, QuickBooks Online provides a taxable sales detail report that details the sales of taxable products and services to customers, and a taxable sales summary report that shows total sales of taxable products and services. These reports are contained in a standard sales tax report category that also contains the sales tax liability report, giving you yet another way to run that report too. To run any of these three sales reports, click the Reports link in the navigation bar. If needed, click the Standard tab in the page to the right. Then scroll down through the list of report categories until you find the Sales Tax Report category. You can click the arrow next to the Sales Tax Report category label to expand and collapse this section if needed. To run one of the three reports in this section, click its name within this section to open it in a new page. To return to the Report list, click the Back to Report list link in the upper left corner of the Reports page. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.